Welcome to Voice Bootcamp, a global name in unified communication. Hello, my name is Faisal Khan, CEO and founder of VoiceBootcamp.com. In this particular Cisco Unified Context Center Express scripting video, we're going to focus on creating a basic script. Now, of course, before we can create a more complex script, we need to understand various other topics such as variable, uh, logical steps, things like that. But here, before we start with that, I'm going to show you how to create a basic script and what a script looks like in Context Center Express. Now, objective here is to lear learn how to start a blank script, a script from a template, how to use the certain steps to start a script and ending a call. Now, in order to create a basic script, we must create a blank script with a start and end steps. Now, every, every script that you create must have a start and end in order to complete the program. Steps can be dragged from the palette plane and drop it off within the design window. Steps can be customized using the customizer window. And a customizer window contains fields that you can configure to meet the need of your script. So to start a new script, once you open your development tool or script editor, it will have look something similar to this. On the left hand side, you have the palette. On the right hand side top, you have the design, which is in gray. And then you have the messaging window at the bottom, which is white. And the top uh, left bottom corner is your variable pen. So you go to File menu and you click on New. Now there are various options you have. You can say General, Blank Script. You can go to Template area where you can select certain uh, different type of templates like IVR, QE, VRU. So if you are going to create an auto attendant type of script, you can click on IVR and select Auto Attendant which will give you certain predefined script. So let's start with the blank one. A blank script will start with a, st a start and end step. Every step has to have a start and end. And these two elements or steps are not available within your general tab of your palette. So they're not shown in any palette. It must include it in every single steps. However, you can right click and go to property to customize some comment if you want to. Now you do not need to define any property for a start, for a star, a start or an end. Use the end step to, to define the end of a script to complete the processing and of course free up all the allocated resources. Now in the general there is a first steps that are available called annotated. Annotated allows you to define a comment or a description. Now every programming language must have a proper description so that somebody who's reviewing the script can understand the purpose of the script or even yourself hey because six months down the road what if you don't remember what uh, you know how you wrote the script or what is the purpose of that so you may have a put a design by date and version and description so this is what a scripts uh, uh, for example have start then you can put a description by putting an annotate or you can customize a start uh, with more details uh, settings now, a script will use accept step to accept a contact. A contact can be a telephone call or email message or an HTTP request. Every script has to have a contact because something has to trigger the application. Uh, in a contact, which can be coming from a, a fo normal phone call, could be an email. But then also, the script should also have a terminate to stop that particular contact type. Now, a terminate can be, for example, a disconnect a call if it's a call contact. Uh, you use a no, connect, no content or 204 message if it's an HTTP contact. Or a yeah, state of an email is moved to terminate the state if it's an email contact. So if you do not use a terminate stamps, uh, of course, the application may not free up all the resources. Annotate is step, which is used to document the script or make a comment. A document the purpose of the script or script steps document the name of the author or the contact information so annotate function is also available within the most steps by clicking on the property of the steps and then click on that little document uh, icon this is where you can define more comments if you want to now annotate step does not affect the script logic and it does not provide a logic itself Label step is used to define a label or which is to define a target for go to or an exception go to step. So we often use a label, for example, here called Q loop, 
which we say that this is just a label and then at the bottom of that particular segment I say go to queue loop so it's queue loop for example once you hit that statement called go to it's going to go to that section where the queue loop starts from so in a programming language you might say you know what you might create a different section within your application and you, you need to go back and forth so you can always say go here go there so label becomes a very handy on that now of course label can also be used for simply documentation purpose if you want to but keep in mind there's a limitation on the space so this is what a, a, a basic script will look like a basic script will have a start uh, a, a steps followed by accept which is a trigger the contact uh, maybe a play prompt to announce uh, a welcome message every every contact center application you know have some sort of a welcome message right welcome to voice bootcamp or welcome to rogers or welcome to at&t so this is what a, a final script a basic script will look like at the end of the day so at the end of the module is that the script will start with start and end steps which are not available in the palette especially the start one start and is there after a start step you must define a contact trigger to accept a call a contact trigger can be called HTTP or email and other steps can be used to comment or provide description to the script a good script should always be documented each steps can be customized with further comment or description label can be used to define a segment of a script where you can jump to that section using go to steps so that's pretty much it for chapter 2 and I will see you in the next chapter which focus on variables.